Hey there, signs of Leo. This is Kim here to start your reading for you for the next 48 hours. And thanks for joining me. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate your support very, very much. I'm still doing readings for donations. Check out the box below for that information if you want it. We're calling in Leo's spirit guides, angels, higher self, and some higher wisdom, something that will propel them forward on their journey. And they're it feels like a constant full adventure. And there's the full. <laughs> and the sun. Happy times. Joyful times ahead. Alright, Spirit. What do we have for Leo next 48 hours? We have for Leo. Leo, what's up with this? Why is it turned that way? Okay, it is a wish come true. Okay, it's a wish granted. But, um... I feel it has to do with the challenge, so let's look at what the challenge card is for this. Something about what, what your wish. Maybe maybe you have some, but it's not like the complete. Like, maybe you want wealth, but it's not the complete thing yet. You see what I'm saying? Like a little bit, but not a completed wish fulfillment. One that's in process. So anyway, we have King of Wands and the challenge. So the challenge is building something. <sighs> okay. That is the challenge. If this is going to be able to be built, if you can build this or not, because it is King of Wands. So I really do think that that's Leo's energy. Um, what is the heart of the matter? Look at that. Six of Wands, so this definitely, this is something that's happening, that you are working on this, and this is a little bit of a victory right now, and some public recognition, I feel like people are lifting you up, and that's just a overall very, very good card to get, kind of like respect too, some respect, past, oh, past issues, or Leo, past issue, or past situation, oh, Oh, it was the starting of a new chapter. Nice. It was the start of a brand new chapter, the end of a karmic circle. So lesson learned, lesson felt, lesson integrated. And then in the past came this um, maybe corresponding with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo characters. All right, so brand new chapter, something, this could be talking about something that's, you know, 10, 20 years um, of something great in your life. So this is the present energy. Wow. Ace of Cups, present energy for Leo. This is big because you see how the water is coming out many areas, right, on the cup. That's like the very uh, least that we can show that the universe is offering many opportunities at this time and all are love-based there's not a thing wrong with this spread so far it's a really good spread something being felt maybe the love is being felt from this offer whatever this is and it is general so it can be romance or career what is the near future energy I saw Ten of Pentacles wanting to come out, but it didn't. Okay, near future energy. We have judgment with the Seven of Swords, Leo. Some sticky situation. A sticky situation in which one person will be asking the other person for forgiveness. This could be something about second chances. It could be about forgiveness and moving on or... Um, using spiritual intervention, divine intervention here. Having patience, but knowing that there's going to be this announcement here. <clears throat> All right, let's do the card that represents how you are feeling. And I promise the, the cat back there will stop meowing any minute now, I hope. Okay, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, Leo? How is Leo feeling? Well, Leo's feeling snappy. Okay, feeling kind of like the Queen of Pentacles, but not really. <laughs> it, I mean, 
You could be feeling like you're not in charge of more on a home front basis that you than than maybe you are and wanting to have that role maybe that's total victory like we said the total wish granted maybe it involves coming into this queen of pentacle energy what is the external external circumstance here for leo we have the five of one so people not getting along no matter what the circumstance, it doesn't matter if there's deception or if there's happiness on one street, the other street's still going to find something different to argue, yell about. All right, so the hope is to move on from these wounds, from betrayal, or from what it felt like a betrayal. Maybe it was a self-betrayal, too. Could be. Um... Wow. Using the sun, using um, that creation that's in you, that divine that's in you, connecting directly to that, to like source energy, having lots of energy to put into a situation. Have the high priestess card. Healing. All right. There's some characters I feel like are coming up in your story, but are not in your story presently. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it, it's just something I noticed with the cards that were left. Some people that were key people, but at the same time, not being involved in much right now. Okay, outcome, projected outcome for Leo's. And we stop and look at what we got. Oh my gosh, the hangman, the page of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. So this is about financial stability coming in. We know we're waiting for it. We know that there is a sacrifice and a price to pay for what's coming in because it's truly on a grand scale here. Um, wow. Maybe even receiving more than one message. Like I said, more more than one things to make you really happy all right let's do um let's do some more cards or some different cards let's do sacred signs and symbols i'm going to move this over there's your outcome that was the near future energy about some final judgment or a judgment call on something it's obviously affecting you all right, a rebirth from this ton of swords energy. Okay, for Leo. Spirit, what do we have for the next 48 hours for Leo, please? For Leo, please. This is the Epiphany deck and the Sacred Signs and Symbols deck. <clears throat> heart that speaks the same language hearts that speak the same language hearts that speak the same language <laughs> this is coming out with the ten of swords this social media got me in trouble and maybe it's something that you felt like oh god this is a rune and you couldn't get up from it but there is complete rebirth of who you are what you're perceived as avocado smoothing over something or buttering something up you're probably coming out of this energy, the dark night of the soul energy. I mean, it can like manifest into full, well, I've heard it called deep rest before instead of depressed, deep rest. Uh, it's no fun, it's no fun. Let's get some angel number messages, Leo, and let's see if we can get any more information on this and we'll find another Oracle card here to pull. Look at all the major arcana that's in your reading. The sun, judgment. I mean, a king is pretty big too. The world. 
Queen of Pentacles. I'm like, why can't you call yourself that? Oh, nice. I love three, three, three. It's weird to have numbers that you love. Eight, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. Five, five, five scares me. Not all the time. Okay, I think that we were probably done a while back, but yeah, excess. Okay, three, 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 I am powerful. You're being called on to use spiritual gifts at this time. 23 is that you have a zest for life and want this new adventure and you love this change here uh, presented to you. It says, I'm adventurous too. Um, it's it's a great talent for working together and finding solutions, maybe coming to a decisive. Um, yeah, maybe you're the person that they go to to make a decision, to make something like the decisive say, I am diplomatic. 99, which is multiple three. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Of course, you're, you're Leo's. 19, independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and and work and aren't afraid to do what it takes to get your desire. I am a pioneer. And then we have zero, zero. Angels are asking for your attention with the zero, zero for you to listen, observe, and think about everything that's going on around you, but trusting your interpretation that comes from your intuition or your gut and follow that guidance. Um, it says without any delay, follow that guidance. Through meditation and prayer, focus inward. I am observant. Playing the role of the observer. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. What other cards were we going to pull? I think we we're going to do. Let's do the spell casting deck. Spell casting deck for. Our Leos, please. The next 48 hours, I saw financial health on the split. Forgiveness and financial health now. <clears throat> Which judgment card right there? Maybe it's standing for forgiveness for something about forgiveness. Okay, spell casting cards. What do we have? Spell casting cards. What do we have for Leos? So, Leo's, yeah, you have strong towards Virgo Capricorn in your readings and Sagittarius and maybe another um, fire sign. You have freedom, trust, okay, trust this situation, trust that this is a Knight of Pentacles, it's not going to let you down, it's very dependable. Freedom, something's going to set you free to really do what your heart's desire. And empowerment. Something's empowering you because you being empowered is helping so many other people. Closure has come. And have strength for this closure. View it with compassion. Go back home. Need to get some willpower, adjust the situation, and then peace and good luck. I mean, gosh, could do a whole reading with just that. Let's see. Okay, uh, Tara, what do you want to clarify with any of these? Well, we have right away, nine of wands, perseverance, and it looks like the freedom thing too, doesn't it? Standing up for yourself, defending yourself, um, being in many uh, situations where you're Push to your limits and you're beaten up and you still persist. Um, you still are very focused. 
this is laying over this seven swords so we have needing to make a decision or a peaceful resolution needing to come to a peaceful resolution here um to a swords energy we could be blocked we could have a stalemate right now three of pentacles indicates that your angels your spirit guys are trying to give you messages signs um notice things that can be made into a metaphor which is just about everything um, and try to analyze some parts of your life that happen. Be very attentive. Oh, wow. So we have Eight of Cups, which is moving away from maybe like a feeling, like emotionally detaching yourself from something. And this empowerment brings you this wish granted. In fact, that might have been the wish was this empowerment that you're wanting beating the devil at the game. So controlling your vices, not having anything control you, not being chained down. But at the same time, it's like, it doesn't feel like triumphant success, okay? It feels like the opposite. They like got all that you wanted, but it's kind of like, eh, the outcome's kind of the opposite. We have Knight of Swords. A lot of air energy, a lot of thinking. Knight of Swords is a change, a change coming. And it might be that 555 energy that I was like, you know, tapping into earlier. All right, guys, let's do um, Ask the Angels. You can either ask the angels a question as I shuffle these or, you know, lay down a card or just wait to see what gets laid down and then relate it to your situation. First one is meditation brings answers. It says it's time to get to work on your soul's mission. So maybe that's about finding what you're supposed to be doing or being guided through meditation. Not the right time for something. Maybe a justice situation to work out or a compromise. After that comes this huge opportunity and then a new door for romance too opportunity justice it says look for a sign oh my gosh this is the solution coming in that will help with this block and then we'll remove that you can have a libra or justice situation for sure make sure you're paying attention to signs because it's sure it's pointing to something like that all right let's do um a Let's do a psychic tarot card and then some tea leaves and we're going to wrap up your reading. Oh, wow. You got the um, Wheel of Fortune card, the 10. Wheel of Fortune, destiny. It's good luck. It's something that's turning in your favor. Justice, it has to do with justice and something going in your favor here. So this is good. Let's get some tea leaves. Rebuilding a tower. You got the good tower. In the past, we have not unsuccessful plans. Unsuccessful plans. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Fan. Romance. Celebration or party. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness in business. And like I said, tower is the good one, though. It's solid foundation and success with effort. So it's talking about building this up for you, Leo. So it was a good reading. Thanks for joining me yet again and um, sending you love and light out there. Thank you. Have a nice few days. Bye.